The day we're taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Thursday, June 15, 2023, and giving you our team and total picks for today. Welcome back to High Stakes. Before we dive into our video, don't forget to subscribe and to push the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Also check out our Patreon if you want access to our premium picks. Our Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. You will find the link to our Patreon in the description and comment section below. Toronto Blue Jays vs Baltimore Orioles The Baltimore Orioles are one of the hottest teams in baseball as of late. They have won 10 of their last 12 games and are currently in second place in the AL East. On Thursday afternoon, they will host the Toronto Blue Jays. The Blue Jays are also a good team, but they have struggled on the road this season. They are 18-18 away from home, while the Orioles are 21-12 at home. The Orioles are also hitting well at home this season. They are averaging 5.2 runs per game at Camden Yards, which is the third best mark in the aisle. The Blue Jays, on the other hand, are averaging just 4.3 runs per game on the road. The Orioles will be facing Yusei Kikuchi, who has been inconsistent this season. He has a 4.24 ERA, but he has allowed more than four runs in three of his last five starts. The Orioles have also hit Kikuchi well throughout his career. They have a .286 batting average against him, which is the highest mark of any team he has faced. The Blue Jays will be facing Jordan Lyles, who has been solid this season. He has a 3.71 ERA and has allowed more than three runs in just one of his last 10 starts. The Blue Jays have also struggled against Lyles this season. They have a .222 batting average against him, which is the lowest mark of any team he has faced. I believe that the Orioles will win this game. They are the better team at home and they are hitting well against Kikuchi. I also like the over in this game. Both teams have the potential to score a lot of runs, and Camden Yards is a hitter-friendly park. Here is some additional analysis that supports my picks. The Orioles have won 10 of their last 12 games, while the Blue Jays have lost 4 of their last 5 games. The Orioles are 21-12 at home this season, while the Blue Jays are 18-18 on the road. The Orioles are averaging 5.2 runs per game at home this season, while the Blue Jays are averaging 4.3 runs per game on the road. Yusei Kikuchi has a 4.24 ERA this season, but he has allowed more than four runs in three of his last five starts. The Orioles have a .286 batting average against Yusei Kikuchi, which is the highest mark of any team he has faced. Jordan Lyles has a 3.71 ERA this season and has allowed more than three runs in just one of his last ten starts. The Blue Jays have a .222 batting average against Jordan Lyles, which is the lowest mark of any team he has faced. I believe that the Orioles will win this game and that the over will hit. Tampa Bay Rays vs Oakland Athletics The Oakland Athletics and the Tampa Bay Rays are two of the most exciting teams in baseball right now. The Athletics are coming off a 12-game winning streak, while the Rays are one of the hottest teams in the AL. This game has the potential to be a high-scoring affair, and I am taking the over. The Athletics are led by their young pitching staff. Frankie Montes is one of the best pitchers in baseball, and he will be looking to continue his dominance against the Rays. Sean Mania has also been solid this season, and he will be looking to help the Athletics keep the game close. The Rays are led by their offense. Wander Franco is one of the best young players in baseball, and he will be looking to lead the Rays to victory. Randy Arizarena has also been hot at the plate, and he will be looking to continue his success. I am taking the over in this game. Both teams have the potential to score a lot of runs, and I think this game will be a high-scoring affair. I am expecting a final score of 8-6. Here is some additional analysis that supports my picks. The Athletics are 12-0 in their last 12 games. The Rays are 10-2 in their last 12 games. The Athletics are averaging 5.5 runs per game in their last 12 games. The Rays are averaging 5.2 runs per game in their last 12 games. Frankie Montes has a 2.63 ERA this season. Sean Mania has a 3.52 ERA this season. Wander Franco is batting .324 this season. Randy Arizarena is batting .288 this season. I believe that the Athletics will win this game and that the over will hit. Philadelphia Phillies vs Arizona Diamondbacks I am picking the Arizona Diamondbacks to win against the Philadelphia Phillies at plus 110 odds. The Diamondbacks have been a great team all season, winning six of their last seven games. They have one of the best defenses in baseball, scoring 5.4 runs per game. They also have a strong home field advantage at Chase Field in Phoenix. The Phillies have played better lately, but they have still struggled overall this season. They have a middle-of-the-pack offense and an abysmal road record. I think the Diamondbacks will be too much for them to handle. I am also taking the over of 9 runs in this game. The Diamondbacks have a high-powered offense that can score a lot of runs. They will be facing Aaron Nola, who has struggled this season. 
The Phillies have also shown some life in their offense lately, so I think they will be able to score some runs as well. I am expecting a high-scoring game with the Diamondbacks coming out on top. Detroit Tigers vs Minnesota Twins I am hesitant to pick the Detroit Tigers to win outright against the Minnesota Twins, as the Tigers have a poor record on the road this season, 12-21. However, the Tigers have played a lot of close games lately, with their last three wins coming by just a run, and three of their last nine losses coming by a run as well. The Twins, on the other hand, have struggled when Sonny Gray pitches at home. Gray himself hasn't earned a win in any of his last seven starts, but in his last three at home, the team lost by an average of 2.3 runs per game, and the offense provided him with the same in run support, 2.3 runs per game. The Twins are 0-4 in Gray's last four starts against a team with a losing record. I am taking the Tigers on the run line, which means I am picking them to win by at least one run. I think the Tigers have a good chance of winning this game, but I don't think they will win by a lot of runs. I am also taking the under of 9 runs in this game. Both teams have been playing good defense lately, and the pitching matchups are favorable to the under. The Tigers starter, Matt Boyd, has a 4.63 ERA this season, and the Twins starter, Sonny Gray, has a 4.24 ERA. I think this game will be a low-scoring affair, and I am taking the under of 9 runs. Atlanta rebounded after dropping the opening game of their series with Detroit on Monday. After a rainout Tuesday, the Braves bounced back and won both games of their doubleheader Wednesday against the Tigers. The first game of the day was a 10-7 victory, and the second was a 6-5 win. In terms of the overall highlights of the first game, Spencer Strider earned the win, tossing 5.0 innings and allowing 5 earned runs on 7 hits and 2 walks. Michael Harris too had a big day at the plate, going 4-4 with 4 RBI. In the latter of the two contests, Colin McHugh picked up a win in relief, holding Detroit scoreless over 3.0 innings of work. Offensively, Eddie Rosario, Ozzy Albies and Ronald Acuna each hit solo home runs. The odds makers don't think this will be much of a game Thursday night as they see the Braves as a minus 240 moneyline favorite as of this writing. It's interesting solely based on the pitching matchup as Atlanta's starter is so inexperienced. AJ Smith Shaver will make just his second career start and third overall appearance. However, the right hander has been excellent to start his career, as he owns a 0.00 ERA over 7.2 innings of work. Considering the disparity in these offenses and all of the injuries to Colorado's lineup, I'm riding with the Braves on the run line. Here are some of the Kiarakis that are sidelined due to injury CJ Cron, Chris Bryant, Charlie Blackmon, and Brendan Rodgers. Even though we may not have a ton of data on Smith Shaver, there's a good chance he finds success against Colorado's B team. Let's ride with the Braves minus 1.5 here. Despite all of the injuries to Colorado's lineup, I still think they'll be able to scratch across a couple of runs against the inexperienced Smith Shaver. And, to be honest, that may be all we need as the Braves' offense has a very favorable matchup. Atlanta's running into Kyle Freeland and the current roster is slashing .294.333.588 against him over 68 at-bats. Interestingly, Freeland splits are worse away from Coors Field which you certainly don't see every day. His ERA and WHIP are 4.81 and 1.25 away from home, respectively. Furthermore, the Braves crush left-handed pitching. Their first overall in both team batting average, .295, and ops, .892, against lefties. Look for this game to turn into a slugfest. Let's lock in the over 8.5 runs.